Hello again, YouTube. This is Dave. We're up in the sewing room. This is a 221. It isn't a set of treble irons. That's the reason for today's video. But before we do that, uh, I want to give you a quick spin around the uh, sewing room so you can see how it looks currently. Made a little bit of updates, so we'll go ahead and do the spin here. Okay, now the reason for today's video, uh, if you've watched my videos, you know I like throwing everything in treadles, and I've seen somebody in a post, eh, it's been years ago, mentioned that you couldn't treadle a 221, and you know, you can, you can treadle anything. And so uh, last week, week before last, I actually got a 1936 or 1935 featherweight with the... Uh, school bell bobbin winder tensioner so i'll go ahead and show a picture of that because that's my cool new machine and i needed something to do with the 1948 so i decided to go ahead and uh, throw it in a treadle and uh, the only thing i had to do really to do it was uh, get about 20 dollars worth of uh, pulleys and pillow bearings and mount them on a block of wood and mount that block of wood on this little block of wood so it doesn't pull up whenever i treadle so I'll go ahead and throw up a snapshot of what it looks like, and then maybe at the end of the video I'll show a little video of it spinning. Uh, the 221 itself, nothing was done to it. Uh, I pulled off the, uh, the regular belt for it and replaced it, but it's plugged in. The electrical still works. The motor's plugged in. It spins. If I swap the belts, it would sew just fine. Uh, I've done a few stitches. I'm going to go ahead and do some more here. Yeah, so it's the treadles. I'm, I'm wearing hiking boots, so I can't bend my feet really fast. So That's not a problem with the machine. That's the hiking boots. So, yeah, it... Sews like it always sews. A little bit slower because it's in a treadle. So yeah, you can put a 221 in a treadle. Uh, the mechanism, I'll go ahead and clean it up. Uh, probably remake it out of better parts. And uh, as for why to do a treadle for a portable machine, uh, I have my son right now working on a clamp-on uh, aluminum treadle so that it can be clamped onto the side of a desk and it weighs next to nothing and the pedal is separate. And yeah, I'll do that in a later video. I'll show you what that looks like. But yeah, uh, it'll probably weigh a little bit more than the 221 weighs, but it'll be just as portable as it. And I can take it to uh, Toga's or whatever and... Uh, Treble with it. So let me go ahead and show you the mechanism and then we'll close up. Uh, the reason for the tubing is it's cheap and I didn't feel like cutting up a belt because this belt is not, you know, it's not going to work on anything else that's so short. So I just, uh, went to the fish store and got some aquarium tubing cut a piece it's probably I think it's probably about a buck's worth of aquarium tubing that I used so so you're getting a better view of it working than I ever had I'll watch this video and see what it looks like working. So, I think it looks okay. So like I said, I'll remake it. I'll do it in black. Uh, I'll actually use uh, quality bearings rather than these, you know, cheap Amazon bearings. Uh, they work fine, but they're not self-centering. So whenever I mounted them, it was kind of a pain to keep the uh, shaft from binding when I mounted them. So 
So there you go. A two, 221, excuse me, a 221 in a treadle. Yet another machine I've put in a treadle. Thanks for watching.